So this is the moment you've been waiting for. Um, you're going to finally get to play your course, albeit only two holes, but we're going to load it up into GS Pro at this point. So you should have your uh, course directory, or I should say your course build folder inside of your computer. And let's take a look at that quickly. And I put mine under my OneDrive backup built courses. And here is the folder with my uh, Unity file. And then you see there's some uh, additional files in here from Greenskeeper and my splash screen. So I'm going to take this folder and I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to copy it. So control C or I can right click and I can do copy as well. And I'm going to put that inside of my GS Pro courses folder. And for those of you who don't know, it's under your GS Pro. If you install it in the default directory, it's going to be on your C drive. I put it on my D drive. So it's going to be under GS Pro, Core, GSP, Courses. And then here's all the courses folders that have been released by GS Pro. I'm just going to paste this in here. And uh, I'm overwriting. I already have that folder in here. So I'm just going to do replace. And you should see in here now I have my Rock Creek underscore GSP. And I've got these, uh, my GDK, my Greenkeeper files in here, my Unity file, uh, my that Excel file, my splash screen. They're all in there. So I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to open up GS Pro. And I got the launcher here. And I'm going to do full display, right screen. Let me do, I'll do ultra mode and hit play. And this is going to load up. Now, if it's the first time loading the course, uh, it'll load up fine. Uh, however, just best practices are go into here, your settings and courses. And every time you put an update in here, you want to come into this courses settings. Oh, I'm sorry, the game settings here. And you just want to clear your course cache and reload courses. Because if you don't do this, it's going to have a cached version of the previous version of the course. And you're going to be looking at like a, a, an old version of your build. Um, so if you made changes and you redid your build and you bring it back in here, it looks like nothing changed. Well, it's because you need to clear your course cache. And then this reload courses is going to make sure that when we look at our courses list, it's in there. So let me close this. And when I'm playing it for the first time, I always go into practice mode. And another thing I like to do, first of all, is go in here into game. And I'm going to load in control type mouse. Now, if you're playing this on your real simulator, you can leave it to simulator. But I'm going to be playing it in mouse mode. Um, and I like to do this for testing purposes. So control type here is going to be mouse. I'm going to close that out. And uh, I'm going to go into practice mode on course practice and you should see if your splash screen was correct you'll see your course listed in here uh, so i see rock creek and now you can load up you can see since we only did two holes only the only two ho holes are going to show up here and you can i just leave everything at the default at this point i'm going to leave the thursday pins in there and um, things look pretty good so i'm just going to hit go and of course, you know, it's going to take a couple seconds for this course to load. You'll notice that when you're loading the course the first time, it takes a while. Um, if you come back and you load this same build again, it'll be much quicker because of the cache, right? Um, but of course, we want to make sure that we clear that cache. So the course is now loaded. So looks pretty good. Uh, and one thing you want to do is hit F. And I always turn this on F until... Vsync is off, and now I can get an idea, and you can see that I'm hitting that 80, just under 80 frames per second, which is what I was getting in my Unity editor. Just so happens that my GPU is the same as the minimum spec GPU, so this is a good benchmark for me. Um, I want to see this at least 30 frames per second. And now at this point, if you want to play the whole, how you do this with the mouse is you're going to right click, hold your mouse button down, and then go forward. So I'm going to hold it down and go forward. And then you can see I just drove the ball. And wow, that's a heck of a drive. All the way up to the pin looks pretty good. And that's going to go back because we're in practice mode, right? Um, 
one of the couple things you want to do in practice mode is uh, move your ball around a little bit. So let me go up here. Let me just move my ball so it's right here on the green. And you just want to check your pin placements. So, you know, good idea is this uh, putting. This is a, it's not easy. Um, just do that. And you can see my ball is rolling pretty true. It's not rolling off the green. My my slope's pretty good. So you can see that, you know, pretty solid. Um, you want to do that with every pin placement. So you might want to come back here and load your Friday pins up, your Saturday pins up, and your Sunday pins up, and play all your pin placements. Go to another hole. So here's my uh, here's my third hole. Whoops, I accidentally shot there. Let me go back and forward. And then shoot and it's going to take me back because I'm in practice mode but you can see here my hazard is done correctly let me just shoot one right into the water and make sure that that is working correctly I should get a I think I did know as it lies so it should uh, so we're in practice mode so I'm not going to see that so I'd have to uh, go to regular mode to make sure that my hazards are being read correctly here um, but obviously I got some work to do here I still have my custom mesh which we didn't talk about um, but in some of the other videos we'll talk about those custom meshes um, but for the most part this is playing well so you should be able to play your course now whether it's in mouse mode or in full simulator mode in your software and just as you go you know just make sure you're you're taking a look at your uh, paying attention to your frames per second. And uh, if you've got multiple holes that you completed, you know, check every hole what your frames per second is, check your pins, um, check your lies, uh, check your colliders. Another good thing is to, if I forgot to mention, is just go back and aim square at a tree, you know, and make sure that, right, so my collider is working in that tree correctly. Um, I could aim this other direction here just hit some in the trees up here yep I could hear it you don't hear it and then obviously landed on concrete and so that's rolling correctly <laughs> this might go a while oh boy oh boy well that's interesting I don't know if I should pause this or not, or keep it for uh <laughs> I've never seen a ball go like this. It's going to go all the way back to the tee box. <laughs> uh, it's going to stop finally. That's pretty funny. Oh, and finally off. But you get the idea. Have fun with it. And uh, congratulations on getting your course into uh, GS Pro.